Hello community, let's talk about deep research agents and we have a new benchmark and we have a new winner. The best deep research agent is, but let's talk about what is it. And you know, if you go to ChatGPT, the free version where you just log in and you click on tools, you have here run deep research. You know, these are those systems that run 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes here where they really try to find here a broad, let's say, internet research here on your topic. But what is the best system? Well, we do have a new study here, June 16, 2025, from yesterday, Deep Research, a benchmark for Deep Research HN, University of Science and Technology in China, Metastone Technology in China, and they compare now and they have a brand new technology. Let's have a look at this. At first, of course, they had to design a new data set, yeah? because we want to have really complicated benchmark, because our LLMs are really excellent and our agents are very good. And so they used here two new methods they developed for the evaluation. And this is really fascinating. So let's start with the data set. How do you craft here a deep research benchmark data set? Well, you go in reality and you see how you have a look. About 100,000 real world user queries here from a chatbot. And then you use an intelligent deep seek version 3 to filter here the queries. Now you get only 44,000. And then you look at different topic distribution and different domains and you focus here on 22 domains. And at the end of your sync, you invite 100 PhD students here and senior domain experts and you say, distill everything down. I want the top 100 high quality PhD level research prompt in my domain of finance, science, technology and software and more. So this is the way you do it. 100 PhDs. What a beautiful idea. Yes, you start with synthetic data, but then you go for the real interesting human complexity. If you want to see this here in the original publication, well, very easily depicted here. But then you have to say, okay, I have the test data set and I have my agents available here from the global corporations. But how do I now score the results? And I think this is also, what a beautiful innovation, yeah? And they say, hey, we don't go with one framework where we have two. And this is kind of genius. Let's have a look. The first framework is RACE, a reference-based adaptive criteria-driven evaluation. Assess the overall quality of the generated uh, report, and it overcomes here the pitfall if you have your traditional LLM as a judge method, no? So what do you do? Scoring a complex kind of an open-ended report by our deep research agent is not that easy, no? And if you say, hey, score everything from 1 to 10, well, guess what? It's, yeah, you get here very similar results. So they did here, here a three-step dance. So A, let's forget your fixed checklist and hard-coded prompts and everything. We say, hey, listen, you get four dimensions, orthogonal dimension, and there's are comprehensiveness, is the coverage of the topic very thorough insight and depth? Does it go beyond surface level facts to provide you some real valuable analysis? What about instruction following? Does it really directly address all parts of the human prompt of the human query? And what about readability? Is it well structured, clear, easy to understand? Those are the dimension. And I think this is great that you give it here some freedom of interpretation. Then the second step here is in the race solution, reference-based scoring. And you remember GRPO, the group relative policy optimization, where you say, I don't go here for one absolute target, but I have a group relative evaluation. Guess what? Exactly what we're doing here. We say, hey, have a look at a reference report using the dynamic criteria we just generated in step A. And then have a look. If you have a good reference report, the golden standard, yeah? and then try here to find, come up with something similar, produce scores now for both reports on every single criterion. So you do have here a domain-specific relative best paper benchmarks. Real nice. You can define here for your domain what you want. And then the relative final score calculation is not absolute. It is a measure of how well the target report performed here in proportion here for the reference. So this is really nice. 
If you want to see this here in a visual depiction, this is the race framework for you. And fact. Fact is not a second one, and it's about factual accuracy, checking your the agent work, and in particular citations. First thing first, are those citations accurate? Do the linked sources actually support the claims being made? And an agent that confidently hallucinates sources is quite dangerous, so check all and every resources, but not that just it, that the resources exist, but check that the content of those resources are really what I'm looking for in my task to the deep research agent. This is beautiful. Of course, we have another three-step automated pipeline for a fact. You have here, you have a pair of statements in the URL, then you have a support judgment of the pairs, and then you have a metric calculation. Here we go with a citation accuracy and an effective citation. Accuracy, I think it's absolutely clear, the percentage of citations that are judged as a support is the measure of precision. When the agent cites the source, is it really correct? And the effective citation Simply the average number of supported statements per task, a measure of factual abundance, or recall how much verifiable information did the agent find from the internet and present to the human user as a real result. Now, let's have the results. There are a lot of further numerical data. Just want to give you here the result. Have a look at this. They went here with four deep research. Grok here in the very light one, and the second was perplexity here. With 42, for example, here in the race overall. Then Gemini 2.5 Pro. And this is not the new Gemini 2.5 Pro final that was published today. No, this is just here a preview 2.5 Pro. And here OpenAI. This is race overall. And now, if you want to go at a detailed race benchmark, here you have them. But you see more or less. This dark violet here, Gemini 2.5 Pro, kind of dominates here. Here we have open eyes coming close, but otherwise it dominates here. The race benchmark. Gemini 2.5 Pro, deep research. But it changes if you look now at citation. And if you do deep research, citations are absolutely important. So let's have a look here. How many citations are brought back by the system? Now you see here one dominant tower and guess what? Yes, it is Google, Google Gemini. What a surprise that Google could find here a lot more citation to my particular task. So if you compare this here to, what is it? OpenAI here with 40.8 or Perplexity Deep Research with 31. Look at this, three times more references and citations for my domain specific questions are found by Google. But now look at this, the accuracy that it is absolutely correct falls by Google. Now we have a lot of citation, but the accuracy is only 81%. Compare this to the 90% now by perplexity. But remember, perplexity only gives us one third of the citations. So perplexity gives us much, much, much less amount of information but their little um, accuracy is at 90%, while all the 111 here are only at 81%. Now, this is now a personal judgment. I like if I get a lot of resources back. Maybe I know some of the articles already. If it's in my domain, I know the authors, I know the research group, I know the institutions, I know the universities or maybe the private companies or the venture capital or whatever. So I like to have quite a complex, a wide overview. And if it is that it is only to 81% accurate, I personally would accept it. But maybe you say, no, if I'm not familiar with the topic, I want to go here with the most accurate citation. And this is with 90% here, perplexity, deep research. But be aware, you, go to, uh, you only get one third, about one third here, of the amount of citations. So maybe you do not discover the venture capitalist or the financial institution or whatever you're looking for. Absolutely fascinating. 
And you see Grok Deep Research here with, yeah, citation not really, but I think a new Grok is on the way. Perplexity Deep Research, yeah, you know, and here. So yeah, Google here shines because this is, of course, the historical strong part of Google. But you know what? We have much more information. Because if we have a look at this, those are deep research agents. One, two, three, four. And I say, yeah, but what the rest? Well, we have not defined this as an agentic system, but of course, we can have an LLM with search. And of course, this is now a tool implementation. So you say, okay, so I have not multi-agent system, for example, that do here in parallel searching, but I go here with one single large language model for the reasoning, and I give it just the search tool. Let's say Google search or Bing search or whatever you like. So what is happening? Again, same race and fact and all the overall and citations. And look, Sonnet here, 3.7 with the search functionality now is at overall, let's just look at overall race, 40. Perplexity, Sonar is at 40.2. So also real good. So you see kind of this two dominant. If you don't want to go with the deep research age and you don't want to pay for them, or maybe you have a free whatever, this is a real interesting alternative because Grok Deep Research gives you 40 and you get the same with Claude 3.7 Sonnet just here doing Google research with a search tool. So interesting to see this. You can go here for adapt and readability and whatever. So you choose whatever you like, but I think this is real nice that you see also GPT-4 Omni Mini, GPT-4.1, GPT-4.1 Mini. You see the differences that you get back if you have here a real complex search of more than one internet source, how those systems perform. Now, in general, let's say the best that they tested here was Claude 3.7 Sun and with the search tool, let's say 40. And Gemini 2.5 Pro, 48.8, so 49. So yeah, there is a difference, but honestly, I expect this difference to be much bigger, you know? I thought, hey, maybe this is 50 or 60% here, but no, it is, yeah, okay. So 40 to 49, very interesting. And yeah, perplexity, deep uh, research here in total. Yeah, it's, it's real close here to... The systems here with 40.2 and here 42.2. So if you have to pay for the deep research agent, maybe my tip started first here with just the LLM. Just give it a search tool and maybe you don't have to pay here for the deep research agent. But this is totally up to you as you like it. Now, absolutely fascinating. This team here did it here in English and in Chinese. So we have a split performance and I was really interested here if we take now here all our models like Jay here, Gemini 2.5 Pro or OpenAI or Perplexity or Claude or Grok or whatever you go. What is the difference? Just look here at the colors. Red is good and blue is a low performance. It is quite similar. Look, English, Chinese, absolutely fascinating. However, be aware, for example, here, Gemini 2.5 Deep research on the topic or the, the domain knowledge of religion is not really outstanding. You see, 3.3. OpenAI Deep research has 5.2, so a much better performance on the topic of religion. But interestingly, if you go to religion here in Chinese, Gemini 2.5 Pro is much better in Chinese regarding religion. And here, OpenAI Deep Research is not as good in Chinese for the same task as in English. So I think I want to give you this because if you operate, and I operate here just in the very next one, Science and Technology, no? the next column here. And here I can see beautifully what is the best result in English. Yes, I do not speak Mandarin, Chinese or anything at all. So I have to stick here to the English column. Science and Technology, Gemini 2.5 Pro Deep Research. Great. Then OpenAI. Then Perplexity. Then Sonnet with the search functionality. Then comes here a Grok Deep 
search with multiple agent maybe i'm not familiar with the current rock implementation of deeper research so you see you got here for your domain if you write software if you are here in travel if you're in food you see this is really nice and i love this publication here by the researcher now you missed out that there is now this anthropic because there was the presentation just days ago on june 13 how we build multi-agent research system. Well, this was published here within a week as I record this. So yes, this latest is not included, but as I showed you, you have Claude 3.7 Sonnet with agentic tools. So really interesting. Now, another perspective on the results. We do have really the rise of the specialist because if you just look at the performance of Gemini 2.5 Pro, and this is still a preview version, they really excel here in deep research. Second place, I would say, currently at recording this video, goes to OpenAI Deep Research. And they significantly, significantly, yes, within limits, outperform the general purpose LLM. If you just have a MCP tool use, those things, those deep research in general, they are multi-agent, multi-parallel agent implementations, of course, with a reasoning capability and not just with a search capability. So if you only have one LLM with search and you have here multi-agents with multi-LLM, yes, they outperform here singular LLMs. Gemini 2.5 Pro was here the top performer on race, but you remember we had the second benchmark. And here it was absolutely interesting, and I showed it already to you, it generated here a staggering 111.2 effective citation per report, but the accuracy was only 81%. Perplexity much less instead of 111. Here the number of effective citation here, 31, but a high accuracy instead of 80%, 90%. So interesting to see if you know this characteristic of deep research agents, you can now choose your perfect agents. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just the very first glance of this new interesting benchmark, very beautifully human created test data sets from 100 PhD students on specific topics that are in science, that are in finance, that are in technology. For my particular task that I use AI for, this is a valid benchmark. If you are into literature or music or whatever else, I have a look for you, and if I found something more general, I will, of course, make a video about it. So if you subscribe, I see you in the next one.